There, so we are going to try to get Persona 5 Strikers to run in Ultra Wide properly for people that don't seem to get it working. And you need three things you need the game, obviously, you need Reshave, and then you need Cheat Engine. So download both of those two things. And then you need the script, which you can find a little link in the description below. And that it's made by King Crouch. He made this script for cheat engine that will get it to work properly at the correct expect ratio. So let's get reshade installation going. Then select browse, it's faster. Then go to your Steam library um, folder, Steam apps, common, and then that should be the Persona 5 Strikers folder, which P. 5s, it's the name of the folder. Select game. Dot x. Then select in the reshade screen. There, 3D, 10, 11, 12. It says update because I already have it set. So just ignore that part. Then here, the most important thing that you really need is Fubax shaders. Click here. It will download the shaders. I have sweet FX some because this is a a preset that I have that I made for Final Fantasy XIV, so you can ignore that or you can select them, doesn't matter. What we need here is aspect ratio shader. Do not download shaders individually, just download them from the installer of Reshade. Always do that, or you might have trouble to get them working properly. So the Reshade is installed, we're going to boot the game now. Just wait a bit for it to get started and going there we go now we have to wait a bit for the menu almost there okay so this is what the reshade shader does like I said I already have mine Set, right? This is what the game looks by default, right? And this is what the shader does. It stretches, so you don't have black bars anymore on the sides. And then for that to happen, you need to go to the configuration below. You cannot have performance mode enabled, or you cannot configure the values. Now, aspect ratio dot fx, and you need to correct proportions. Slide. You need to. It should look like this by default, right? And then a bit to the right, you slide to 0 0.343, right? And you stretch properly. Now we're going to start the game. It's still stretched, don't worry. I'm doing that on purpose. I'm going to skip some things. There's a lot of things from the Deluxe Edition. I have to skip all this stuff. I haven't played the game yet. I've been trying to finish Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But I don't really know how to play this properly yet. Sorry about that. Skip. Okay. As you can see here, it's, it's stretched. It doesn't look that bad, but it's still stretched. So I'm going to press Alt plus Enter. So that the game goes into Windows mode. It works in most games. If you press Alt Enter on Windows. Uh, and now, with uh, the script that we download, right? We're going to double click the script. And then on the glowing button on the top left of the engine, you're going to select Persona 5 Strikers. And then open. Yes. Now you need to click the checkboxes that you see here. This is very important. This is why the script is so good. When you change uh, a scene, it, it normally resets to the base aspect ratio, so it looks stretched again. This script stops that from happening. Then you need to click these two again. Game, aspect ratio, and UI. Right? It's still stretched. Alt plus enter. Right? It's still stretched. Now, we're going to Steam forums again. Katak explained how to use the correct values. Right? 
33 and to, to copy that because that's a lot of threes <laughs> you don't really need to to do this you can do 34 and it will average to another number but still we're going to do it this way right and it's fixed right i recommend that you leave uh, the ui um don't change ui just keep it at the standard value right because if you do it like this it will fix the UI, but the UI is made for um, 16 by 9 and you can see the, the lines of the UI on the sides, right? And it's really annoying, especially in combat. You see 3D models outside of the UI, it becomes annoying. It's, I don't know, it's, it, it's not for me. You can leave it like that, but I, I don't like it. The default value is, is the best for me. It looks a bit stretched, but I mean, it's enemy uh, UI it doesn't really bother me that much right again I haven't played this at all so don't get mad at me for playing poorly I did only the tutorial once which is this part You can see it's, it's fixed, it's working properly in neutralized. And finish the tutorial. Now oh, it will change scene. Right, and thanks to the script, you won't press that aspect ratio. Cannot skip this, really have to look at this, so sorry for spoilers if there's any. Okay. Okay, this is fixed. Oops, not all was entered, sorry. That's why this is very important. Stop the game from overwriting aspect ratio values and why the script is so good. So thanks King Crouch again. Incidents involving and to skip. Skip. And now I'm going to show you why the UI is bad if you set it to the same aspect ratio of ultra wide. Shouldn't have skipped that Morgana thing, but doesn't matter. Let's go here. Skip. Okay, so. Let's go here and set it to that value again. Right? It looks a bit weird because sometimes the UI has a an edge like on on the battle and sometimes here too. It depends on the cutscenes. So it look, I know it looks weird for me. It, it's up to you. You can use the the same or you can use 1.77 with six sevens and it will stretch and fill the, the whole screen so it's up to you and that's about it have fun and thanks king crunch and katak as well thank you for the, the correct values and that's how i got it working thanks guys and have fun everyone <laughs>